Well, hello everybody, how are you? Thanks for joining me today with Prose by the Window, as Prose by the Shores come inside. It's a little windy and a little wet out there. You might even be able to hear the wind in the background or the UPS driver coming by. I don't think it's for us, he didn't seem to stop. Anywho, today's prose is titled, Nothing, Not a Thing. The word's out, did you hear? They ain't fooling. At this time, the key to what we gotta do is nothing. Hey, I was as shocked as you, but it does feel damn freeing to hear. No more agendas, no more haggling and wrangling, no more stamping your feet and shouting, I'm right, I'm right. Wait a minute now. Nothing has to entail something. That something is just being you, me. That's our focus. We don't need a caucus to debate with, get their approval. Nope, it's over. That advocating of my side knows better than your side was a huge Groundhog Day loop de doop lasting thousands of years. Ultimately, it brought us here to today. O3D is still here, but so is 4D, 5D, and all the forthcoming Ds. Each of us seeing and experiencing what we need to see whenever we're ready to be and remember just who is me. It's not a race, not a competition. Sense it, feel it. The body and mind's relaxing, freeing old, tired tensions. Sending away a dimension that no longer serves. Oh, not something the shrinking powerful elite happened to mention? Nope, but they know. Tick tock goes the clock, welcoming in midnight. The wizard's curtain is now transparent. His weak, meek outline exposed. No place to hide. Humpty Dumpty is about to topple. The gig is up. Hold on, hold on. Back it up. Not so fast. All we got to do is nothing. Not one little thing. Except be you, me. Bears repeating, don't it? Nothing means not a thing. So I can just simply sitting on a, sit on a park bench, sipping my comforting coffee, doing nothing, admiring nature, enjoying kids playing and squirrels foraging for acorns? Exactly right. While remembering the real you, the one years of earthly programming have smothered and molded to their wishes. So it turns out that nothing is really something. Congrats, be proud. You've dropped those temporary identities and found your authenticity. A beautiful being sitting on a park bench, sparkling one's bright light, vibrating a loving frequency all the while emitting God's oneness. Yes, sir, there's nothing, not a thing, better or more important one could do. The day we all arrive and meet there, wars will be no more. Global peace will prevail, earth and heaven converging on a little park bench. Hmm, that cup of coffee's got one sweet aroma, don't it? Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, what uh, inspired me to write this is, uh, is what's going on, basically, with, with, the, with the world and, and the consciousness. Um, there seems to be a lot of people right now, and, and thanks to the internet, you can see these people, that are channeling. And, and they're channeling Jesus, Yeshua, uh, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, uh, Archangels, Guides, uh, Saint uh, Germain, the list goes on and on and on. And there seems to be an overlay, overlaying similarity about what's happening to us, that our consciousness is rising, that right now is what is, is one of the best times to ever be on earth. And that we're all here for a purpose, that we have courage to be here right now. Because even though the consciousness is rising, there's a lot of craziness going on. A lot of things have to bubble, bubble to the surface. A lot of the truths have to be exposed. Um, and, and all these agendas that are going on, they're really just, they're going to drop to the side eventually. As we're seeing and focusing on ourselves, that that's what we have to do. Just focus on our own vibration, our own self-worth. Love ourselves enough. When we love ourselves enough, if we all love ourselves enough, they cannot, wars can't exist. Peace, 
Peace has to exist. So that's what I feel. I mean, I'm not I'm not channeling, uh, and I'm I'm kind of glad I don't. To be honest with you, it's, it comes with a, comes with quite a responsibility, and really a surrendering of your ego. Um, but I I do feel it. I do feel what all these people are saying, and and that is the truth, isn't it? What it comes down to, what we really feel is the truth inside of us. So in a way, we do all channel, because we're listening to the God within, the truth within. So even though I say I'm not a channeler, you and I, we really are all channelers because we all have a piece of God in us. And, and we know ultimately when we, we drop all those projections other, others have put upon us or things we believe we are or have been brainwashed or programmed to believe we are, when we get right down to it and drop those identities of, of what we're supposed to be on earth and really go to the essence of us, the truth is coming out. So I'm, I'm excited about it. And, and I just, I personally believe like that a lot of this craziness, the more we remove ourselves from it and, 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 and are aware of it, but we don't tie into it too much. It's not the end all be all. We just really focus on ourselves, loving ourselves, loving our families, loving our friends. And uh, ultimately we'll, we'll get there. Um, so thanks to the internet for, all these people who are, who are not, not afraid now to come out and speak what they're hearing. But years ago, had they come out and spoken, they'd be burnt at the stake or, or hanged or, or put in an insane asylum for being crazy. Well, uh, uh, we're all a little bit crazy, I guess, but ultimately we're all going to get there. That's, that's, that's my one, that's my one feeling, one belief. Um, so I love you all. Thanks again for tuning in. For, uh, I think it was episode number 49, Pros by the Sure, a la the window. All right, take care for now, everybody, and uh, see you next time on Pros by the Sure. Bye-bye.